Hello sports fans and hockey fans out there. Today we're going to look at the 1943-44 Stratomatic Hockey Season cards. And guess what? There was only six teams back in that era of hockey, so we're going to look at every player on every team. And we're going to go in alphabetical order, so let's get this road, this show on the road. We're going to start with the Boston Bruins, who in 1943-44 were 19-26-5. And, and the first guy on top here is Clarence Schmidt. Clarence Schmidt had... Um, he, had, he played seven games, and he only had one goal, and uh, there's his card. I'm going to try to give you the best look I can at the card, but the camera's kind of close to the, uh, you know, to it. But anyway, the next guy we've got is Art Jackson. Art Jackson played 49 games. They only played 50 back then, and he had 28 goals and 41 assists. And uh, that's his card. That's what it looks like right there. Um... You got quite a few goalie ratings there. And uh, offense four, defense, you know, defense two. And you can stop the, the uh, video anytime you want to look at these guys. Uh, the next guy is Guy Labrie. And if I butcher some of these names, forgive me, but, you know, I mean, they are French-Canadian uh, names in a lot of cases. 15 games, two goals, that's his card. That's what it looks like. Don Gallinger is the next guy. 23 games, 13 goals. And some of these goalies are going to be very interesting. I mean, I know I made the mistake in one of my other videos of saying that a goalie rating was actually a goal. Well, on some of these goalies, th that would be the case. Uh, 34 games, 4 goals for Jack Crawford. So we've got a little Jack Crawford sighting here. And that's what his card looks like. You got Al Rittinger, 43-44. He had 19 games played, three goals and seven assists. Some of these guys didn't play a big role in the team, you know, in the team's success or failure. 50 games for Dit Clapper. And uh, he had only six goals and 25 assists, so he was more of a playmaker than a goal-scoring guy. So that's his card. Bep G G Gdolian? Gdolian? I, I don't know. Bep Gdolian. He had 47 games, 17 assists, and that's what you get for that card. Tom Brennan. Tom Brennan played 11 games. He had two goals and an assist. Bill Cowley played 36 games, and he had 30, uh, 36 games, 30 goals in 36 games, and 41 assists. Wow. That dude, and you can see all these goalie ratings. Pat Egan, he played 48 games. He had 15 goals and 28 assists. And that's his card. Again, I'm trying to give you the best look I can at this. The, 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 it's very close. Norm Caladine. So this is Norm Caladine. He played 49 games, had 16 assists or 16 goals and 27 assists. And that's what his card is. Russ Kopak. Right wing and center. He played 24 games, had seven goals, nine assists. And that's his card. Herb Kane. This is Herb Kane right here, as we can see. He played 49 games, had 36, 36 goals, and 46 assists in 49 games. Another big playmaker, but he could go. He could score too. And we got Busher Jackson. Busher Jackson. He played 42 games, had 11 goals and 21 assists, and that's his card. Actually, this is really a pretty good look at these cards, as close as it is, for you to see what these guys look like. Uh, Frank Bowl. So this is Frank Bowl of Boston. 
He played 39 games, had 19 goals and 25 assists. And, uh, yeah, that's his card. Now here's the goalies. Uh, the first one is Maurice Courteau. And you can see he, uh, he only played six games, and he had a 550 goals against average. So if this guy is in net, you're going to score. <laughs> and then this was their starter, Burt Gardiner. But he wasn't a lot better. He played 41 games. He had a 512 goals against average. So he played most of their games. A lot of goals right there. And that is, that's the look at Boston, who again, they were, I don't know if I mentioned this, they were 19, 26, and 5. The next team we're going to look at is going to be the 43, 44 Chicago Blackhawks. The Blackhawks coming up, and uh, the first player that we're going to look at is Jack Toupin. He played only 8 games and had 1 goal and 2 assists. And that's the kind of card you get for that. Next one is Bill Masienko, and he played 50 games. He played all the games for the Blackhawks. He had 32 goals, 38 or yeah, and 38 assists, and so that's what his card looks like. Next is Jack Dite. He was a defenseman. He played 27 games. He only had a goal and no assists. So, uh, but still, he's got goals one to four, one to five, and one to ten right at right across the board at ten, and he has goalie ratings right across the board at twelve for just one goal in twenty-seven games. That's a pretty generous card. Next one is Cliff Perpier, Perper, Perper, and he was a center and right wing. He played forty games, had nine goals and ten assists. And uh, that's what his card looks like. Next one is Joe Cooper. He was a defenseman. He played 13 games, had one goal, no assists. And again, we have goalie ratings and all kinds of goalie stuff all over the place for one goal in 13 games. Strat is loving these guys that didn't play much but had a goal. Johnny Gotts. Gotzlig, Gotzlig. He uh, he was a uh, left wing. Played 45 games, eight goals, 15 assists. That is his card right there. Again, this is the Chicago Blackhawks. Art Weeb or Weeby, left defenseman. He played 21 games, had two goals, four assists, and uh, that's what his card checks in at. Mush March. I'm not making that up. It's Mush March, right wing. He had 48 goals, 10 assists, or 10 goal, or 48 games played, 10 goals, 27 assists. And that's what his card looks like. Goalie ratings there at 7 on inside shot and, uh, and rebound. And a goalie rating at 6. Don Campbell played uh, the, anywhere on the front line you wanted to put him. 17 games, 1 goal, 3 assists. And that's his card. Clint Smith, again, could play anywhere on the line. And he was a 12. Look at that, 12 rating. 50 games, 23 goals, 49 assists, and yes, rightly so. So there's uh, all the stuff you can do with him. Lots of goalie ratings, and like I said, with some of these goalies, like you just saw with Boston, they would be almost an automatic goal. Earl Siebert is the next guy. He's a right defenseman. He played 50 games. He had 8 goals and 25 assists, and that's his card. Next guy is Cully Dahlstrom, and he was the center. Played 50 games, 20 goals, 22 assists. And there's what his card looks like. 
Next guy is Vic Heilinger, and he could play anywhere it looks like on the front line, yeah. He had 26 games played, two goals, three assists. Doug Bentley, left wing and could play to point. 50 games, 38 goals, 39 assists. Pretty good stats for just 50 games played. Which, like I said, was the, com the complete season for these teams back in 43-44. Only six teams playing each other. Uh, Virgil Johnson is the next guy. He's a defenseman. 49 games, one goal, eight assists. George Allen. He could play left wing, center, right wing, and left defenseman. That guy was uh, multi-talented. 45 games, 17 goals, 24 assists, and he was pretty good, too. Now the goalies, the goalies. The first one is Mike Caracas. He uh, played 26 games, and he had a three goals against average stop, 90% of the shots that he saw. So he's like more of a, he's got more like modern day goalie stats. And height, heck Heighton, heck Heighton goalie, played 24 games. Had a 442 goals against average and stopped 86.2% of the shots he faced. So not a great card. That's Boston, or that's uh, Chicago, and Chicago was 22, 23, and 5 last year. And that brings us to the third of the six teams, the Detroit Red Wings. Now the Detroit Red Wings in 43-44 were 26, 18, and 4. So let's see how they are. Uh, this is Joe Kareth, Kareth, right wing. He played 46 games, had 21 goals, 35 assists. Oh, by the way, excuse my voice. I'm uh, feeling a little under the weather. But, uh, yeah, there we go. But, you know, the show must go on, right? Carl Smith is the next guy. He played left and right wing. Seven games, one goal, one assist. Harold Jackson, right defenseman. 50 games, seven goals, 12 assists. So he didn't really help much. He played all year long. But didn't really do much in the scoring or passing department. Flash Hollett. He played left defenseman, right defenseman, left wing, and center. Multi-talented guy, 52 games. Now, I don't know how that's 52 games, because I thought they only played 50. But anyway, 15 goals, 20 assists. Um, and, uh, yeah. So there you go. High Buller. Left defenseman. Played only seven games. He had no goals and three assists. Bill, this is Bill Quackenbush, right defenseman. He played 43 games, had four goals, 14 assists. And the reason, now, you know, I don't know exactly why that one guy had 52 games, but I'm going by 50 games because the goalies, I don't see any goalie or goalie combination that adds, adds up to more than 50 games. So, anyway, that's uh, Bill Quackenbush's card. John Simon, left defenseman. Welcome to your NFL Alexa, that's enough. Uh, in 43-44, he played 46 games, 3 goals, 7 assists. And that's his card. Uh, Dalton Smith is the next guy. Played left wing, center, and right wing. Had 10 games, one goal, two assists. Yeah, 
Yeah, I didn't want. I didn't need an NFL update from her. <laughs> Since we're talking about hockey here, next guy is Bill Jennings, right wing. Played 33 games, had six goals, 11 assists. Next guy is Murray Armstrong, center. Played 28 games, 12 goals, 22 assists. And that's his card right there. That's what he would uh, be doing. Ken, Ken Kilria, left wing, right wing. 14 games, one goal, three assists. That's his card. Mud Brut Brunetto, right wing and point, 39 games, 35 goals, 18 assists, 35 goals in 39 games. That's really good. And the card reflects that. Lots of goalie ratings, and like I said, with some of these goalies, a goalie rating would be almost automatic. Sid Howe, center, left wing, and point. Played 46 games, had 32 assists, or 30, 32 goals, 28 assists. Next guy is Don Grasso. Center, left wing, right wing, and point. 42 games, 16 goals, 31 assists. Carl Liscom, left wing. He played 50 games, had 36 goals, 37 assists. Got a lot of goalie ratings there. Adam Brown, left wing, right wing. 50 games, 24 goals, 18 assists. And here is the first of their goalies, Connie Dion. He only played 26 games. He had a 304 goal, goals against average and an 89.9 percent, you know, save percentage. So he's got some, you know, modern, more modern day type stats. And uh, Jimmy Franks, Jimmy Franks played 18 games, had a 417 goals against average which isn't good, and an 86.1% um, save percentage. So he's got some goal right there, 5, 6, 7, and then 11. So that's Jimmy Franks, and that is the Detroit Red Wings. Again, they were 26, 18, and 4. Now we're going to go to the world champion Montreal Canadiens. The Montreal Canadiens in 43-44 were 38, 5, and 7. So, yeah, that was uh, quite the record. Bob Walton, right wing center. So you're going to see probably some really good stats from these guys. Four games, no goals, no assists. We'll just take a quick look at him. Maurice Rocket Richard, right wing. Offense four. He was a five rated. He must have been old that year. I don't know. 46 games, 32 goals, 22 assists. The Rocket. Butch Bouchard, right defenseman. 39 games, 5 goals, 14 assists. Ray Getliff, center and left wing. 44 games, 28 goals, 25 assists. Pretty good numbers for that number of games played. Leo Lamoureux, left defenseman, right defenseman, center. 
44 games, 8 goals, 23 assists. And again, you know, feel free to stop the, the uh, recording anytime you want to really look at a guy. Left wing center, 7 rated, Murph Chamberlain. Had 47 games played, 15 goals, 32 assists. And that's his card. Got the nice goalie ratings there on inside shot and breakaway. And uh, on breakaway, goalie rating at 6. And the goal 1 to 18 down at 10. Bob Fillion. Right defenseman, left defenseman, right wing, left wing. 41 games played, 7 goals, 23 assists. So there's his card. Buddy O'Connor is next. He was a center and point. He was a 10-rated guy, offense 3. 44 games played, 12 goals, 42 assists. There's the card. Glenn Harmon is next, right defenseman. He played 43 games, had 5 goals, 16 assists. Next one is Fern Majot, left wing, center, right defenseman. He had 44 games played, 20 goals, 18 assists, pretty good numbers. And that's what his card looked like. Next guy is Mike McMahon, left defenseman. 42 games, 7 goals, 17 assists. Phil Watson, right wing center and point, seven rated guy, four offense, two defensively, 44 games, 17 goals, 32 assists. Todd Campo, left wing and center. He had two games, no goals, no assists. Elmer Lach, center and point. 48 games, 24 goals, 48 assists in 48 games. Wow, big playmaker right there. Gerald Heffernan, right wing. 43 games, 28 goals, 20 assists. And the big man, Toe Blake, who also went on to coach the Canadians. Left wing, 8 rated, 4 offense. 41 games, 26 goals, 33 assists. And that's the Toe Blake card, friends. And their goalie... Uh, 50 games, yeah, he played all the minutes, 3,000 minutes, had a 92.2 save percentage and a 218 goals against average. You've only got a goal at 7 and a goal 1 to 16 at 9 on that guy. And again, Montreal 38, 5, and 7 that year. That brings us to the worst team in the league, and that was the New York Rangers. The New York Rangers in this particular season were 6, 39, and 5. And boy, wait till we get to the goalies on these guys. Grant Warwick, right wing and point. He played 18 games, had 8 goals, 9 assists. Brian Hextall, right wing, left wing and point. 8 rated, 50 games, 21 goals, 33 assists.
Ott Heller, right defenseman, six rated. 50 goals, eight or 50 games, eight goals, 27 assists. Jack McDonald, center and right wing. He played 43 games, had 10 goals, 9 assists. Bucko McDonald, don't know if he's related, left defenseman. 50 games, 7 goals, 10 assists. Johnny Mahaffey, left wing center, 12 rated, 28 games, 9 goals, 29 assists. Frank Boucher, left defenseman, right defenseman, center, 8 rated, 15 games, 4 goals, 10 assists. Kilby McDonald, another McDonald. Center, right wing, left wing, point. 24 games, 7 goals, 9 assists. Gord Davidson, right defenseman and left defenseman. 16 games, 1 goal, 3 assists. Ozzie Abashan, left wing, center, right wing, and point. 47 games, 17 goals, 12 assists. And I like how they put New York R for, like, New York Rangers, like as if there was a New York Islanders at the time, which there wasn't. Left defenseman, Bob Dill. 28 games, 6 goals, 10 assists. Fern Gauthier, right wing. Four rated, 33 games, 14 goals, 10 assists. Billy Gooden, left wing, right wing. Now, be, and to be honest, I don't know any, almost any of these guys. I know Toe Blake, I heard of Rocket Richard. Games 41, nine goals, eight assists. So there might be some hockey historians out there that are, you know, know of this, more of these guys a little better. Ab DeMarco, center and point, six rated, 39 games, 14 goals, 20 assists. Eldo Palazzi, or Palazzari, Eldo Palazzari, right wing, only one rated, 35 games, 8 goals, 3 assists. Dutch Hiller, left wing, 5 rated, 50 games, 18 goals, 22 assists. And finally, their goalie, Ken McCauley. Not good. He played 50 games. He had a 616 goals against average and only stopped 81.3% of the shots he saw. And that's what his card looks like. So, like I was mentioning, you get a goalie rating against this guy, you got a goal. So, that is the New York Rangers. Again, worst team in the league that year. And that brings us to the Toronto Maple Leafs.
who were in 1943 44 were 23 23 and 4. Basic 500 team, your basic win and lose as much as we win and lose. Bud Poyle, right wing, left wing point, 8 rated, 11 games, 6 goals, 8 assists. Lots of goalie ratings there on the breakaway. Lauren Carr, 8 rated, right wing and point. 50 games, 36 goals, 38 assists. Mo Morris, right defenseman. 50 games, 13 goals, 21 assists. Ted Kennedy, center and point, 5 rated, 49 games, 25 goals, 24 assists. Babe Pratt. Left defenseman, 9 rated, 4 offense, 50 games, 17 goals, 40 assists in 50 games. Not too bad. George Boothman, left wing, right wing, center, right defenseman, 49 games, 16 goals, 18 assists. Ross Johnstone, left defenseman, zero rated. 18 games, two goals, and no assists. Jack Hamilton, center, left wing, right wing. Plays anywhere on the line, on the front line. 49 games, 20 goals, 17 assists. Try to give you the whole picture there. Jack Ing, uh, uh, Ingles, uh, Inglesby, I don't know, right wing and uh, right defenseman. Zero rated, 21 games, five goals, zero assists. Tom O'Neill, left wing and right wing. 33 games, 8 goals, 7 assists. Reg Hamilton, left defenseman. 39 games, 4 goals, 12 assists. Mel Hill, right wing, 6 rated, 17 games, 9 goals, 10 assists. Got a lot of goalie ratings speckled in there. Jack McLean, center, 5 rated, 32 games, 3 goals, 15 assists. Gus Bodner, center, 9 rated, 50 games, 22 goals, 40 assists. Bob Davidson, left wing, 47 games, 19 goals, 28 assists. And finally, their goalies. First one is Betty Grant. He only played 21 games. He had a 438 goals against average and stopped 85 and a half percent of the shots that he faced. That's his card. Automatic goals at 578, 
and 9, and a gold 1 to 16 and 11. And Paul Bibbio. And he played 29 games, had a 297 goals against average, to stop 90% of his shots. Again, more like a modern time goalie would have done. Which probably back then was really, really good. Anything 90% or around 90% was really good. So uh, that is our look at again. Toronto was 23, 23, and 4. Pretty much your run of the mill 500 team. And that is our look at the 43 44 Stratomatic hockey set and the players, all the players on all the teams. And that will be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.